What we have here is a Gusher 7550 series vertical pump. So today we're going to demonstrate this uh, impeller adjustment on a cutaway pump so you can see the impeller and, and the, the parts moving inside the bearing housing. So the first thing you'll want to do if your motor is on, on the pump is remove it. It makes it much easier to do. Tools you'll need would be a three-quarter wrench, a nine-sixteenth, a seven-sixteenth, maybe a pair of vice grips and a, and a mallet. And then you'll, you'll have your barrel, which is what we have right here. And you'll want to pull the grease fitting that you'll see. You know, take it out. And we, we have four bolts, which the cutaway does only has three. But we'll uh, remove all four of these bolts. All right, just put it out of your way. You can adjust those with the barrel on it, but... It's much easier to do it this way, so I would suggest not trying to do that. You'll have six bolts, three long ones and three short ones, and they all have nuts on them. You want to loosen all your nuts and bolts before you begin this process. All right. So once you loosen all the bolts, the shaft should slide down and... Uh, bottom the impeller out in the housing but if it doesn't a light tap will do it for you so that that won't hurt anything so then once you've done that you want to go to the longer bolts and those will pull the shaft up so to to do this we want to start out with one bolt just tighten it until your shaft turns freely you feel no rub on your housing and when you do that then you can come back once you once you have that feeling there turn it a quarter of a turn and that should set you at 20 thousandths then you want to tighten your other bolts go to the other two long ones just barely snug those down and come back to the other three shorter bolts tighten those come back and give these a snug and then turn all your nuts tighten all those nuts and bolts down and that should have you locked at 20 thousandths. When you check your 20 thousandths, you have to come in through the intake on a regular a live pump, but you can check your 20 thousandths right there with the feeler gauge. So that's set. You should be good to go on that. All right, one way you can check to make sure you have this, this is what we call a slider. To check that, it's set evenly all the way around, is take a pair of calipers and go to your, your three long bolts and just out from them, check to see if, if you vary from one to the other. Uh, we would like no more than three thousandths, and it's especially important when you're running a high-speed pump because the bearing will heat up, the shaft might break, so that we definitely suggest you do that. Um, so after that point, you can just put your, your parts back on, your barrel, your grease fitting, and your motor. and should be ready to run. If you need more information, you can visit our website at gusher.com.